Hi, dear doers. We previously saw that basic warehouse operations are important for stealthy wood. But of course, some other aspects of inventory management are key as well. Here, I'll look at inventory adjustments, which are the defined increases and decreases of Stealthy Woods inventory. This is really useful for retailers like us because it helps us adjust our inventory, taking everything into account that could happen, such as theft, loss, and errors. In other words, it serves to match the inventory with actual on-hand quantities. Since Stealthy Woods sells products that can present flaws or where accessories could disappear for one reason or another, I'll look at our database to see how I can make adjustments to stay on top of my stock. So let's check it out right now. All right, here I am on my database. Now I can verify my inventory adjustments in several ways, but one of the easiest ways is to make a manual stock adjustment on the product itself. So let's go to inventory and then master data and products. Now I'm going to take my Stealthy Wood mug as an example. All right, I have my Stealthy Wood mug here. Now to update the quantity, I simply have to click on the update quantity button. So I'll click here, okay? And I'm going to add um, some items on hand. So I do use the multi-location uh, option, which I activated um, in the inventory settings by going to configuration settings. So I'm gonna set that location here. So just my warehouse stock. And I'll say that I have 11 mugs on hand. So let's go ahead and save this. Now, this change is actually going to be registered. If I go to the product again, I'll be able to click on the traceability button where I will be able to see exactly what's going on uh, with my stock for this item. Now, we'll see at the bottom that I have um, updated the stock. It's now 11. Okay. And I know that I did this manually because the reference is product quantity updated. Now, if the quantity changed for another reason, such as um, a purchase or a delivery order, I'll be able to see that from the reference as well. And also where it's coming from and going to. So I can really keep an eye out on what's happening with my products. But I don't have to look at this just from product to product because right now I only see the Stealthy Wood mug. I can see a list of all of my products by going to reporting, product moves, and here I have the whole list and then I can check out the products I'm interested in, such as my large cabinet. So this is a really good way to keep an eye on what's happening. But now that we've seen this, uh, let's go ahead and check out another way that we can do an inventory adjustment. So now we're going to go to operations and then inventory adjustments. And I'm going to create a new one. Okay, so I have inventory as my reference, but let's go ahead and say annual inventory. Since I do use the multi-location uh, feature, I can choose my location. So let's go ahead and say warehouse stock. Okay, and if I don't select a product, this will be for all of my products. So I won't add a specific product here. Okay, I can add an accounting date if I would like to. Of course, I can choose the company. I need to, and I know it's a mandatory field because it's in bold. And then I can say the counted quantities. So I'm gonna use the, the default uh, to stock on hand rather than having the default be zero. Okay, so I wanna know what is already expected based on the stock that I, ha I have on hand for all of my products right now in the system. Okay, and then we can go ahead and click on Start Inventory. And then I will have a list of all of my products. So I see what's on hand, what's counted, and if there's a difference. So let's go to my Stealthy Wood mug, for example. And I see that I have 11 on hand, but perhaps I actually counted two when I was physically counting how many that I have. Um, so let's go ahead and change this right here. And it's gonna be in red because it's gonna notice a negative difference. Okay, of course it's expecting you to provide the number that the system um, has on hand, but sometimes what we have in the system is not exactly uh, what we have in reality, but that's okay, we can modify it here. And then we can validate our inventory. I see that the inventory has been validated. And of course, we can keep track of the product moves by clicking on the product moves button right here. I see that the only one that I changed was the Stealthy Wood mug. Everything else uh, had the correct quantity or at least the quantity that the system was expecting. And I will also be able to keep track of this um, from uh, the reporting section as well. So if I go to reporting and then product moves, and then we check out my mug. So let's go to Stealthy Wood Mug. I'm going to see the uh, inventory, uh, annual inventory adjustment here um, and that I lost two, so I only have nine in stock right now. So we can keep track of everything that's going on. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.